In today's video, I'm going to show you how to begin to reshape pincer toenails using acrylic, how to prevent them from getting worse, and what to avoid to prevent this from happening to you. So stay tuned! What area of nursing are you in? I'm a LPN. I want to thank my client who came all the way from Ohio after a very long overnight shift at the hospital where she works as an LPN and thank her father who drove her here because he didn't want her to fall asleep at the wheel on her way. They drove straight here after the end of her shift and without people like them I wouldn't be able to share as many interesting toenail situations with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You might wonder why I thin out the nail when it is uh, pinched like this. We need to relieve the pressure from the middle of the nail so the sides of the nail can lift up off the skin. It's kind of like snipping your waistband with a pair of scissors when your pants are too tight. In addition to removing the pressure, I want to thin out the free edge so I can trim the nail as short as I can. getting hot. Uh, no. So how do you trim them at home? What do you use? Um, well, I just, after I did, was using like toenail clippers, but then when I, I got a pair of nippers and I've been trying that, but it's basically just getting little pieces here and there. Like yeah, because tr yeah. you wouldn't be able to really get no. a pair of toenail clippers around it. No, uh -uh. Sorry, did I push too hard? I'm trying to figure out where it's attached. It's so important to know where the skin under the nail is so you never cut a client. So I think that's probably as short as we can get it because that is your skin right there. It's called your hyponychium. It's where the toenail attaches to the skin on your nail bed but everything's just pinched up in there so it goes up kind of high. Okay. But hopefully we can get your toenail to come back in place. So the easiest thing is to try to remove the pressure in the center of the nail and that'll help the sides of it come up a little bit. I'm just gonna go slow and take a little bit of the thickness off. Okay. Did you ever consider having the toenail completely removed? Um, that's what my sister was telling me, like maybe we should, she should just go and see if well, people, done. people will ask me in the comment section, you know, why didn't somebody just have it removed? Uh -huh. And it's usually because most people don't want to have their toenail yeah. removed. Yeah. I mean, recovering from that is yeah. an like ordeal. It's, I mean, it hurts, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. So if you can take some less aggressive measures and see if that works yeah. first, I think people would rather try a less aggressive route first. Makes sense to me. At least if I get it thin enough, you should be able to trim it easier at home over the next few months. This big toe is a better example of my explanation of how a nail gets like this over time. One, the nail begins to get thick for any number of reasons like trauma or nail fungus, and the nail presses into the skin causing discomfort, and someone trims away too much of the nail to relieve the pressure, and the nail grooves begin to disappear. 
The nail gets long because it's hard to trim. However, when there is no flesh under the free edge of the nail, it will curl even worse. So you have two strikes against you. And the pressure of the curling nail moves the nail grooves inward even more. So it's very important to keep the nail cut short during the attempt to reverse the pincer nail. Her nails weren't always like this. If they were, I would know it was a congenital situation and only try to control the thickness and the comfort level of the client. Just because her nail looks narrow, it isn't. The rest of her nail is actually straight down into the nail bed and it's really tricky to trim them because you can't really get to the edge of the nail to cut it. Feel any of that? That's okay. That was just the <laughs> nail coming out of the skin. Oh, okay. It wasn't the clippers. Yeah. You felt that okay. coming out. Okay. up. I'll try not to press too hard so it doesn't hurt you because that's you know tender skin underneath there especially if you have never had a pedicure. It probably feels strange somebody poking metal objects underneath your toenails. Just trying to determine how much more length I can take off safely. When you're finished watching the video, you can visit my website, themeticulousmanicurist.com and click the online store link to purchase any of my stainless steel tools and hundreds of other nail supplies. And then I gotta pull the skin away because I don't wanna cut it. That nail curves under so the edge of the toenail to cut it is actually underneath your toenail. I'm going to pull just a little bit. I think another variable that plays into when toenails pinch in like that, mm -hmm. the longer they get and the pinchier the tip gets, yeah. and then it pulls the rest of this okay. into yeah. the position. Okay. So if we try to keep it, the shorter the better. Yep, yeah, the okay. shorter the better. You'll have more control over it. It was, and it's so hard to yeah. it to was, get a toenail clipper around yeah. a thicker nail like this too. I'm so scared if I cut more, it just make it worse. Yeah. And you feel pressure from stuff like yeah. you know getting impacted yeah. underneath there. acrylic on and then 
maybe you can try and come back in like four months, three, okay. four months. Yeah, definitely. I'm using the Imperial Feet Nail Mycosis Solution to keep the dust from flying into the air while I use my electric vial. The dust particles that you cannot see can float in the air for over eight hours, but don't worry because the type of microorganism that causes nail fungus cannot survive in mucosal tissue, which is the kind of tissue in your nose and your lungs. I always get really excited when I do um, more challenging work like this because I can see the results in a few months in my yeah. head and I can't wait to see them in person. I have one more apparatus too I'm going to send you home with. It's going to put some space in between these two toes because mm -hmm. you can see the pressure yeah. that this toe is putting on this one. Mm -hmm. And then it pushes this skin against this toenail and that's why this one is squeezing in okay. too. So I think that if you have a little cushioning in between here, the pressure will be eliminated off of both toes okay. and those nails won't be okay. encouraged to pinch together. Yeah. But sometimes the, when the matrix of your nail thinks that there's damage going on, mm -hmm. it'll produce extra keratin just for protection. Okay. So we'll have to wait and see. Don't forget to leave me a comment. One of the comments will be drawn at random to win one of the tools I use in the video. And one comment will also be chosen for my comment hall of fame on my Instagram. Follow me there at the meticulous manicurist. I want to thank Aaron, Lindsay, Amelia, Jackie, and Melissa for your comments. They are being added to the comment hall of fame on my Instagram. Please make sure you are subscribed with the notifications on so you'll get the message if you're drawn as the winner of the random comment game. Feel okay? Yeah. It's time to apply the acrylic patch to the back of the nail. Its purpose is to hold the nail at its widest area in place as the nail grows up the nail bed. She will cut the nail short when it grows and apply more acrylic at the base of the nail. And when the nail grows forward, staying wide, it will cut a new nail groove and hopefully stay widened. The nail primer, the acrylic brush, the acrylic powder, and the acrylic liquid are all available on my online store, themeticulousmanicurist.com, and click the online store link. And try and press it in and blend it so you don't have a big, crazy looking band-aid <laughs> on the end of your nail.
you ever seen anything like this? No. <laughs> so it goes on your big toe, on your second toe, and see how that oh, okay, yeah. gives oh, that, that cushion. Yeah. And then where you got that bunion, uh -huh. that'll protect it from your shoe. Oh, okay. They feel good, don't they? Yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> It's like, oh, that's kind of nice. It's like a little, oh, yeah. oh. cushy, cushy. What do you think? It feels better than they have in years. It's so taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.